Alright guys, welcome to the Asylum server. So we've been doing a little villager trading lately, kind of taking a break from the spawn build and uh, all the work that that's been lately and uh, just kind of changing gears. I was on the server one night and decided to convert a couple of zombie villagers over to um, villagers. Dub happened to be on and uh, he's been doing the same thing over at his place. So I guess he came by to see uh, what I was up to, and we ended up working together and building uh, building out this whole thing here. And we got quite a few uh, villagers. These these guys have all been converted over to um, villagers from zombies, so it's been quite expensive to get them all to the state. So we also. Oh, Dub actually, this is all Dub. He built this all out here. Did uh, all this, did some redstone work here to kill, uh, kind of create a murder room, I guess you would call it, where we can uh, breed and kill all this cattle for their leather and meat, the chicken for the feathers and their meat and pork. Um, <clears throat> all automated. Um, forget how this was set up um, a despawn timer I think is how we, is how we set this up um, I will uh, let him explain it in his video but it's uh, pretty cool and it seems to be pretty efficient it's working pretty well we got plenty of uh, plenty of food here all from his uh, contraptions so it's working uh, fairly well so yeah these guys have been we've been trying to unlock as many trades as we can We'll keep the good ones, and the bad ones will go away. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the so what I'm going to do today is, like I said, these guys are all converted over from zombies. And um, it's costing us a fortune in gold. So I decided to try my hand at breeding. This was my first failed attempt. Um, my... My uh, plan actually would have worked, but I built it too close to the existing, uh, to these all these other villagers. So the building that I made, that I'm going to make in a few minutes here, uh, was just too close to these guys. <clears throat> so all the doors that I had put on the building were just registering the existing zombies so I would have had to put a door for each of the zombies that we have already converted and uh, the science just wasn't working out so I have to move I have to move away and as you can tell it's gonna be pretty annoying and I don't think I have a bed actually I do have enough for a bed so I have enough materials to make a bed. Uh, oh, the sun's coming up anyway, so that's that. Exp that's why you see all this rail here, and and uh, <clears throat> this building here is holding these guys. Those are my zombies. These uh, my zombies. <laughs> these are my villagers. These guys are going to be the first residents of my new home, and hopefully, they'll start breeding as soon as it's ready to go. So, uh, I had built it over there, and it wasn't working. Like I said, I'm assuming I built it. It wasn't working because it was just too close to all the other villagers and there weren't enough doors for the amount of villagers that we had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a 9x9 nine nine. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do this silly stuff while I'm talking. I'm going to build a 9x9 nine uh, foundation. So, uh, I think I'll just, I'm just going to do it here. It doesn't really matter where I do it. I'm just going to do this while I can, uh, so I can talk and work at the same time. I just want to get this laid out. And the whole point of this is just to get these guys uh, breeding, but at the same time, like you look at some of these things online for uh, breeding zombies, and it's never really 
anything you want to look at. It's either just a big uh, rectangle or a big square block with a bunch of doors on it. And um, it doesn't have to be that way. So that's kind of my point. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try and build something that is, looks a little better than uh, the stuff that you see out there. If I have enough materials for it, I'm not sure if I do. Should be more than enough. So this is uh, this is our nine by nine, and then we're just gonna go up three more. Um, three or four? Let's see. One, two, for the door. Let's go four. We're gonna go four high. So we have one. Two, three, four, and then five. So we're gonna go up one more here. And one in the middle here. So one, two, three, four. Right there. I'll top that one off. Same thing here, same thing here, and one more here. So basically just going to make like an apartment building, more or less. It's not really going to be, uh, the inside isn't really going to be finished, but uh, it's not going to look like your normal uh, breeding house that you see out there. Um, with, like I said, just a big rectangular building with a bunch of doors on it. It's going to look a little nicer than that because we don't really want to do that kind of stuff on the server. We kind of try and we want to try and make things look as nice as possible. Okay. So I think now I need my glass and my doors. couple of doors here so four four per side space let's get rid of this stuff here I don't need you I don't need you I don't need you 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 gonna do in between each one now. Just gonna put two glass blocks. And we want four doors per side. So this should work out. Try and get this done quickly before the sun goes down. something sneaks up on me which tends to happen out here a lot and one two three four five six short six six more oh one two So that is where we should be at where we should be at right now. And I'm hungry. I'll just jump around. I'm gonna make uh probably shouldn't make two stories because it's gonna be a lot of <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot 
of uh, breeding going on. At least I hope it's a lot of breeding going on if it works. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Yeah, I built this last night. Uh, I remember I wasn't crazy about some things. I did it out of sandstone and some parts of it I just didn't like. So always fall back on the dark oak. Can't go wrong with it. And you want to make something look better. But I think we're going to do a little contrast today. So this is what we got so far. Four doors per side. And the glass will give us the light that we need. We'll put some lighting inside as well. And then I'm thinking that's good. We just got to get up to, I don't have anything for scaffolding, do I? Um, any sand? Okay, I'll take the sand. Some more blocks. going to do the same thing on the top and um, fill in the floor. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So there's the second floor real quick. Um, it's the same, same exact uh, setup as the first floor, just using the sandstone just to break up the color a little bit. And um, I just added a staircase. Whoops. <laughs> what the heck was that? I just added the um, staircase just so villagers can access the second floor and register all these doors. So, like I said, this isn't a real, you know, Minecraft house where you have to worry about furniture and layout and everything else. This is really just more for for the science of uh, villager breeding than than anything. So, um, we're gonna put a roof on this house and figure out what kind of roof I want to put on, but. Uh, I also want to do something else. So I put a border up here. Uh, actually, here. Yeah. Just going to go like this around the entire side of the <clears throat> top of the building, I should say. So I'm not going to make you guys watch this. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is where we're at right now. I put a birchwood roof on just to try and mix things up a little bit. Uh, I didn't really like the way the uh, the sandstone steps looked. Uh, so the sandstone, I should say, looked up there. So I went with this. This is the house. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get started on the outside area here. Get this all secured and get the villagers in here, and hopefully we'll get some breeding going real soon. So I'll be right back. Well, that didn't take long. Jeez, I just got these guys in here, started cleaning up the outside, and I come in and I see somebody running around, little guy, looks just like you guys, and I get in here and I see two of them. So I'm guessing that these guys are happy here. Look at that, working on number three already, huh? God bless you. I'm, uh, yeah, pretty happy. I'm guessing it's uh, successful. These guys are going at it like, uh, like newlyweds. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to show you guys uh, the build here, how it came out, and go over some of the things I did. I moved the golems over. They were over there. These guys actually naturally spawned, by the way. They they uh, they were a result of m building this structure. It, was a it actually wasn't as nice as this, but I built this last night way over there. You can see the fence that I built, that wall. Uh, it was too close to the existing villagers that we're using now for trading, so it it was it was almost as if it was it was so close that it actually it was recognized as a massive village. It was so so big, so many villagers that it spawned these two guys to protect uh, to protect them. Like they, so, they naturally spawned is what I'm trying to say. And uh, <clears throat> as a result, there were too many villagers, not enough doors, so these guys weren't breeding, and I thought it wasn't working. I had a feeling that's what it was. So, look at this guy. So, I uh, so I figured if I move it, maybe it'll work, which is what I did. Moved it over here, and wow, did it work. Worked a lot faster than it did when I tested it, because it was really slow when I did the original 
test on my creative server and uh, it looks uh, it looks great I like the way it looks um, I had this idea for the trench when I was doing the uh, bushes here I was one I was just looking to see how it would look if I put steps here and then this kind of came about so this is good though because now no one can you know they can get it can get close I think if they get close enough here if they try and walk up on these steps here they're gonna get whacked by these guys um, I saw it happen a couple times last night the golems can get close enough to hit them away which is good so uh, I'm gonna clean up I'm gonna continue to clean up this mess here that I made now in the, in the desert these guys will continue to do what they do to make babies without getting into too much detail and uh, yeah so looks like we have some uh, successful breeding going on now we're going to be able to pick and choose the villagers that we want to trade with and maybe get some good trades going, maybe even build a couple more of these units and maybe some single houses for the villagers we don't want, get a whole thing going here, fill up this desert with uh, with uh, some structures for the villagers to live in, who knows? Uh, there's always something to do here on the Asylum server and there's always people around to help me do it, which is one of the reasons why I like this server so much. and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. As usual, I appreciate you guys watching. And if you uh, have any comments, uh, please feel free to leave them. Always appreciate a like. And if uh, you want to follow along with uh, stuff that's going on here on Asylum and you're not subscribed, whoa, please do. And I will see you for the next one.